I'm Jordan Belfort, and this is Sales School. All right, short message from my number one sponsor, NetSuite. Here's the deal. If you're a business owner, you don't need them, NetSuite, to tell you it's tough to run a business because it is, right? We all know that. Don't let QuickBooks and spreadsheets slow you down anymore. Now is the time to upgrade to NetSuite by Oracle. They're the world's number one cloud-based business system. They give you the visibility and control of your financials, HR, inventory, e-commerce, and more. You want to join over 24,000 companies using NetSuite right now. So schedule a free product tour now at netsuite.com slash school. That's netsuite.com slash school. So your specialty, right, what you're really known for is SEO, search engine optimization, right? That's right. You speak all over the world about it. You um, have written th this amazingly large, awesome book, which I'm scared. When, when you showed me this book, yes, thank you for this book, but you showed me this book, I'm, I was like, fuck, I mean, like, I hate writing more than anything in the world. So for me to write this book would take like seven years. So my book is a little thinner here, but I heard it's a, a great book, which I'm going to actually read through, start reading through it um, tonight. So tell me exactly, you know, I think everyone, at this point, hopefully most people know what SEO is. It's, you know, getting yourself towards, organically towards the top of search engines like Google and so forth, right? Right. So it's a way to get traffic to your site without spending money on advertising, right? Right. So why don't you just get, get, you know, that's the layman. So why don't you give me your, your definition of SEO and just sort of like the, your, your overarching principle that guides it. Yeah. So if you consider uh, the, the free traffic you get, it's not really free because you have to put time and effort and, and sure. internal staff and so forth. But that's all part of the earned media kind of triumvirate. you got paid media. A lot of folks are spending a lot of money on Facebook ads Ooh, and Google do, yeah, ads. Yeah. And then there's the uh, owned media, the stuff that you just own. It's your IP, uh, your your turf. Right. And uh, one of my mentors, James Shramko, talks about owning the race course. And I think this is a really important point that if you're building everything on a platform like Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or whatever, and then they- Change the algorithm. Change the algorithm or- do whatever. your account, whatever, yeah, yeah. you have to start all over again. Yeah. So you want to own the race course. And that means driving traffic more to your site than to your social platforms. Even if you have a huge following on one of the platforms or multiple of them, that's part of the strategy, but the end game is always to build up your own turf. Right. So, so essentially I agree with that. Right. And I think the smart thing to do is diversification, right? Like I would never want to have all my eggs in one basket, right? Correct. So if you're advertising only on Facebook, getting, I mean, it was just, there was this um, day, they were, what was it called? Like when they changed the algorithm, when every, like, like Elite Daily and all these companies just went out of business. They got destroyed because Facebook changed the way they did business. So in, I think in the olden Facebook days, if you clicked on an article, it would take you to their website and then Facebook made a change, but if you clicked on it, you would actually read it within Facebook, right? And all these companies went out of business or like, you know, got destroyed with, around the same time. And in fact, my, one of my other guests that was on here, um, Dan Fleischman, you know, I don't know if you know, he, um, he- I was listening to that interview. Yeah, yeah, interview. yeah, yeah, he's a great guy. So, um, brilliant guy too. And um, so, I, so I agree. So the idea would be to be somewhat diversified. So we'll have SEO meaning, so you're getting traffic organically. And as you said, it costs money. It's not like free, right? There's time and energy spent in yep. optimizing. You have to buy tools. Hiring, or... hiring consultants like you to make yep. sure. <laughs> right? Exactly, exactly. Right? But, but at the end of the day though, and the, the idea is that, you know, once you get towards the top, and I think you have to obviously maintain it, right? You, it's not like the thing where, you're not like at the top and then you just, you can't rest on your laurels. You have to be constantly, right? Standing right. vigilant, it's not that, right? set it and forget yeah, it. Yeah. it. It's like, you're going to build an asset, which is different from the paid media side of things, where let's say you spend a lot of money on Google ads and you decide to take the summer off. Well, all that traffic, all that revenue just goes away. Okay. Whereas with SEO, hmm. you build a great platform, you, you have it uh, optimized, yep. be not only search engine friendly, but search engine optimized. And then you do some link building, get a lot of great high authority, high trust links pointing to your site. You take the summer off and it just ticks away, making you money, getting revenue, even though you stopped link building for you know three or four months.